It just don't work that way, though. Right. I mean, you know. The Lord paid for all our sins. Right. Not 70%, not 80%, 90%, $90, not 99%. He paid for all of it. All of it. He paid for all of it. Jesus was on the cross and He said, It is finished. All my sins were paid. Past, present, future. My the sins for tomorrow, They all pay. All my sin. Right. When I got saved. Amen. We're in the in the future. When I first got saved, all my sins were gonna come up later on. Amen. Hey ahead. He should have got saved. He should have. But he didn't. He got to the point where Ahab was trying to live a good life, you know. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Yeah, my son and everybody else going to have to die. Not me. Mm -hmm. I want my next door neighbor's property so I can build me a garden and grow herbs. I wonder what kind of herbs he was going to grow. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> I mean, pretty good stuff right there. And, and, and you know what he did? And he started crying like a baby. He started crying. Mm -hmm. Jezebel went and said, we want some more. We want some more. He said, that man won't sell me his property. He said, no, we'll have to take care of him. She got people to lie about him. He was a male worshiper. They killed him. They said, oh, they're glad you can have the property now. And the preacher showed up. The preacher said, well, just like you took that, that land, God's going to do the same thing to you. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he reap. Reap. Ahab didn't believe God will give him peace and joy. You know what people thought? Will give you peace and joy? The herbs that he was growing. question is, what's your reason? Why don't you want to repent? Why don't you want to ask Jesus to save you and come inside your heart and your soul? Mm -hmm. I heard a man say, well, I, I just can't live it. No, you can't live it. God has to. Mm -hmm. He has to impute righteousness. You know what impute means? Mm -hmm. I got to take this righteousness. This is the righteousness of God. And I'm going to stick it Deep down in your soul. It's like your mother-in-law moving in. And and she's sitting in your favorite chair watching your, your TV and eating your food. You know she's there. I mean, you just know it. That's the way God is. When you have God, you know He's right here. He's right here. Amen. Amen. He's right here. But you got to ask Him. Amen. You gotta ask. Mm -hmm. You say, I can't live it. Nobody can live it.